I'm Sarah, a tutor here at Accountancy Learning and in this video I'll take you through the AAT Level 3 Management Accounting Techniques Sample Paper 2 Task 1. So Task 1 is about costing techniques. In our first part of our question we need to identify whether the following statements about absorption costing are true or false. The value of inventory under absorption costing is lower than the value under marginal costing. So we need to think about what absorption costing includes. So it's everything in marginal costing plus the fixed production overheads. So because the fixed production overheads are included under absorption costing, it means that the total cost is going to be higher. So when the value of inventory is calculated, it's going to be at a higher cost. So therefore, it will make the statement false. The absorption cost of a product always includes fixed non-production overheads. So be careful here, we are looking at non-production overheads and absorption costing is only fixed production overheads. It's only related to production. So that makes that answer false as well. Identify which two of the following are included in the value of inventory under marginal costing. So with marginal costing, we are only going to be taking into account the direct costs involved. So we're going to be talking our labour, materials, And we're also going to have variable production overheads as well. So these are our prime costs and then we have our variable production overheads. So it'd be prime cost and variable production overheads here. A department has materials which are no longer required in production and have been returned to inventory. Identify the journal entries required to record this transaction. So they've been returned to inventory. So our inventory, which is our asset account, is going to increase because they've gone back into inventory. So it's going to increase our inventory. So that's going to debit and our production is going to be the credit side of the journal so that that then reduces the cost of production. Marvellous Bakery is a manufacturer of breads and cakes. Specialist ingredients are used in the manufacture of basic cupcakes as well as flour which is used in several other products. During November 20,800 20, kilos of flour was issued to the production of basic cupcakes with a value of 51,168. Identify the correct journal to record the issue. So we've got flour being issued so it's going over to production. So we are talking about our inventory and we're talking about production. So as the flour has been issued to production, it's going to reduce our inventory and it's going to increase our production costs. So we are going to need to debit production and credit inventory. So remember to always identify the type of account here. So for inventory, 
its asset. As we are going to decrease our asset, so the inventory is decreasing, it has to be credit inventory. And by process of elimination, you can then work out it's only got to be this one or this one and the bank's not involved. So if you're still stuck, if you can't quite remember or quite work out what the exact journal would be, try to work it out from one side, know what your debit is or know what your credit is and then use the rest of the question options to help you. The specialist ingredients for basic cupcakes were ordered once during November. Marvellous Bakery uses the economic order quantity to order the specialist ingredients and the following details are available and then we're given some figures. Calculate the economic order quantity of the specialist ingredients. So this is where we need our formula. So our formula is the square root of 2 times our order cost times our demand and divide it by our holding cost. So that is our economic order quantity formula. So we're going to have 2 times our order cost, so 45 is our order cost, times by our annual demand Hundred thirty five thousand. We're going to have our holding cost, which is fifteen pence, and we're going to square root it, and that gives us the answer of nine thousand kilos. Calculate the total cost of the November order of the specialist ingredient, ignoring any ordering costs. So we know that we want 9,000 kilos of it, and the specialist ingre ingredient at the top here is £4.50 per kilo, which gives us a total cost of £40,500 for the specialist ingredient. In addition to the flour and the specialist ingredients, the other costs incurred by Marvellous Bakery in the production of basic cupcakes in November were, and we are given labour, the variable production overheads, fixed production overheads and fixed administrative overheads as well. Then we need to calculate the total prime cost of basic cupcakes in November. So we're going to want our ingredients and our labour, so materials and labour. Now remember, in this part of the question here, we're talking about the specialist ingredient. And in the original part of the question, we were told about the flour that it uses. So when you're doing this, you need to make sure that you take into account this figure here, the 51,168 for the flour. So our prime cost then is the flour amount from the original part of the question. Add into our specialist ingredient that we've just worked out up here. And then we need to add in our direct labour as well, which gives us £194,668. And that's our prime cost, just materials and labour. Now we need to work out the marginal cost. So what is the marginal cost of the basic cupcakes in November? So our marginal cost is then going to be our prime cost plus the variable production overheads. So we can take the one that we've just worked out, 194,668, 
and then we can add in our variable production overhead 56,250 to give us 250,918 and then we need the total absorption costing so under absorption costing it's then going to be your marginal cost plus the fixed production overheads. So now we take our marginal cost, 250,918, and our production overhead, 96,000, 326 and we get 347,244 for the total absorption costing. Marvellous Bakery has been working on a batch of large novelty cakes for an event in December. At the start of November, work in progress for the novelty cakes was valued at 3,264, with the following further costs incurred during the month of November. So then we've got material, labour and production overhead costs given to us. Calculate the total cost of production to, the date, for, to date for the novelty cakes. So this is what we've started with. So this is going to be our starting figure. because that is going to be um, you. So it's already cakes that are in progress at the start of November. So that's our starting figure. We then need to add in all of these costs. So you're going to add your material, going to add your labour and the production overhead. And our total figure is 151,875. So that's now the total cost of production to date. At the end of November, 1,900 novelty cakes were completed and 800 novelty cakes were partially completed. The partially completed, which is the work in progress novelty cakes, was 75% complete. Calculate the cost per equivalent unit of the novelty cakes. Enter your answer to the nearest penny. So in this question, we're given a format that we need to enter to. And we're looking at cost per equivalent unit of the novelty cakes. So because we've got the novelty cakes are 75% complete for those that were partially completed, that's going to be our equivalent unit. So we've got 1,900 that are completed and we've got the equivalent of 800 times 75 as well. So effectively we've got another 600 completed. So we're then going to take the cost of production from the previous question and we're going to divide that by our 1900 that are completed plus our 600 that are the equivalent of completed to give us 60.75 as the cost per equivalent unit. Then the next part is to calculate the closing value of work in progress of the novelty cakes and enter your answer to the nearest whole number. So again, we've been given the format that the answer needs to go into. So to get this one, we're going to take that 600 work in progress and multiply it out by the figure cost per unit that we've just worked out to get 36,000. 450 
and that brings us to the end of task one.